We're tackling one of the most controversial shows of the new fall season with one of its stars right here in studio. I'm Hyla in Hollywood for the Daily Buzz on CelebBuzz.com. The United States is the most powerful country on Earth. Oh, oh, Corey. I was gone six minutes. Six? How is this even possible? Was she hiding in the bushes when I left? Tool shed. Ryan Murphy killed it with glee, and now he's doing it again with The New Normal. It's one of the fall's hottest new shows and most controversial shows. And joining me right now in studio is one of the stars, Jason Blair, who plays Clay Clemens. And looking at that clip, I know your parents must be so proud of you these days. Oh, uh, yeah, just like his daddy. No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, they actually are. They're, they're stoked to, to watch the show every week, and it's a fun character. As you see, I get to do some ridiculous stuff on it. So it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. They've been enjoying it. It seems like every step of your career, you're part of these buzzworthy shows. R.J. Yes. Berger, totally buzzworthy on MTV. Yeah. Now you're stepping into the new normal. Uh, how are you able to pick these right kind of projects that you know, keep taking your, uh, your career in the right direction? Um, fortunately, I kind of just lucked out on both of them. I wasn't going into audition for R.J. Berger. I was like, I'm way too old for this. There's no way. This character's not me. I go in, I get a call back. I ended up booking. I was like, oh, all right. And then uh, on this show, when I auditioned, it was only like a uh, page of dialogue in the pilot. And then based on the audition, Allie, uh, the co-creator with Ryan, she rewrote my material based on how I auditioned it. And that's kind of how they created my character. And uh, I just I just lucked out, man. Now I know this is kind of a uh, a, a reoccurring role, but is this going to become permanent at some point? Do um, you see them writing you yeah. in? Well, I'm I'm a regular now. Okay, um, yeah, congratulations. Made, thank you very much. They made me a regular in the um, in the fourth fifth episode, I believe. Yeah. And how do you celebrate when you get that call? I don't know. Does Ryan Murphy call the creator? Does he call you and say, "You got the part, kid. Well, We're loving you." How does that happen? How do you it celebrate? Was, uh, right before the the second the second um, episode, I got a phone call from my manager, and he's like, "Hey, just so you know, they called and checked your quotes, which means like um, they want to know how much I've gotten paid on other networks and things like that for this." So that basically meant that they want to make me a regular. So I was like, oh, and that's, okay. That's when you call up, you're like, I need a table at Greystone, bottles on me, yeah. we're gonna do it big tonight. Yeah. Um, I love the fact that the show, Ryan Murphy always brings controversy to all his shows. It yes. kind of helps, you know, create it the does. buzz for it. Uh, this show, no exception. And uh, the Million Moms, oh, which God. has been a theme on the show, Ryan took yes. a little jab at them. They, little, they made a little video uh, talking about you guys. Let's run that. Well, the plot line is two homosexuals that are adopting a child, and how they're doing that is they have hired a surrogate mother. And uh, that's the basis of the show. And what we have done is contacted NBC, the network, asking them not to air this show because it is um, just continuing to uh, attack Christian values, uh, conservative values, just the traditional family. You cannot recreate the biological will. I'd like to know your thoughts when you hear <laughs> clips like this and other organizations coming uh, down on you, like the Parent Television Council. What are your thoughts? Uh, to me, it's just, it's sad. You know, I mean, for starters, it's one million moms, and there's only like 40,000 of them. Which is a little deceiving. So, I don't think God's down with lying. Just put it out there. That's a little deceptive. Right. You know, you're starting it off. You know, under the bar. Right. So, um, so that's a start as far as um, as far as how I feel about them. I mean, they uh, you can't control a nation. Like this is the reason why the show is on the air to try and change people's minds like this. You know, it's like a very primitive way of thinking. It's not a choice. It's uh, it's just who you are, and you got to accept people for who you are. And that's why bullying is what it is. Like their moms, do they want kids dying in school because? They're getting bullied like no they don't want that and this is what the show is you know meant to do is meant to change minds it's funny it's heartfelt it's something it's not a show about two gay people it's a show about family all different types of family switching gears a little bit so we can get to know you because i yeah. know a lot of people are being introduced introduced to you for the first time uh, i was going through like your twitter and your facebook you work with charities all the time mm -hmm. right um, you were just tweeting about how you went to Home Depot, like yeah. installing some alkaline water thing or I'm something. I'm into the alkaline water. And you yeah. write poetry. 
I write a little poetry. Stop, bro. Yeah. You're embarrassing the rest of us. Only... No wonder, no wonder you, you get to be in killer relationships with great women because you're doing like stuff like this. I it's only in like very manic states, you know, or like supreme elation. Like, oh yeah, I'm so happy. I need to write about this. Or like When's the last time down. you wrote poetry? Um, probably like three months ago. Three months ago. Yeah, maybe two. Is this something that you're allowed to share with people? Or are you one of those like, um, no, poetry's for me only? I, sh I share with people. Yeah? yeah, depending on what it is. What was the subject matter? Um, I was going through, well, at this point, I was um, trying to, when I write, it's usually to see how I feel about something. Because in my head, everything's like so intense in my body, I can't really focus on it and see how I feel about it truly. So if I get it on paper, it's like a beautiful mind. Everything comes off. I'm like, <laughs> oh, okay, this is what's happening, and this is why I am feeling this way, and why the other person could be feeling this way. So it helps me understand, and that's why I do it. So you're basically like the perfect hunk. Yeah, right. Thank you, though. Okay, awesome. Uh, you got to catch the new normal Tuesdays at 9.30 on NBC. And for more on this and all your entertainment news, just head on over to CelebBuzz.com. And don't forget to join the conversation on Twitter, hashtag The Daily Buzz.